Hi guys, so today we are going to be back to a regular Chiching video. This one is Chiching number 101. So without further ado, we're just going to get right into where we left off before I did my Halloween themed Chiching. So the first thing that I have is a sugar and creamer set. This was by a brand called Mary Englebright that sold for $24.99. I had these for a very long time. They did take a while to sell and I feel like I originally picked them up probably at a yard sale. Uh, next item was a hair mask by Wen in the scent Fig. This came from one of the beauty trays that I have won at the auction and it sold for $29.99. I also sold a plush. Um, this was actually from the Loot Crate box, which is a subscription box um, and it belonged to something called Tower of God. I don't know if that was like a comic um anime type of thing or a game i have no idea uh, but i did find that at a yard sale and i think i paid 50 cents for him and he sold for 25 dollars and 99 cents um next item i sold was a jack daniels mason jar uh shaped mug set i'm pretty sure this was the last jack daniels item eric and i had for sale it sold for $149.99 and we did win that at an auction. Um, one time we won like a bunch of Jack Daniels stuff and you guys have seen those in past cha-ching videos. Um, next item we sold was a Coleman single mantle lantern. Um, this sold for $152.10. Um, Eric actually found this at a yard sale and I'm pretty sure he only paid $5 for it. So that was a great, great find. Um, really excited uh, when we, well, when he found that. I have to give him props for that because he did find it. Um, next item we have was a Cindy Crawford Meaningful Beauty Night Cream. That's over $23.99. Um, at one point I was getting some Cindy Crawford Meaningful Beauty skincare items, um, at an auction. Again, on, like, trays full of beauty products. But at one point I came across a yard sale that was selling the Cindy Crawford Meaningful Beauty and it was a whole box full. Some of it was still sealed and some of it was used but I think I paid $20 for the box and I knew I could at least get $20 for just one of the items that was sealed. So I went ahead and I listed all of the sealed stuff and anything that was open I just threw to the side to potentially take to like the flea market or something to try and sell there. Next item to go to a subscriber named Jeanette. This was for an Ipsy um, Tetris eyeshadow palette that sold for $7.99. That did come from an Ipsy box. At one point I was subscribed to the Ipsy box. I stopped my subscription a long time ago because you know, I was just getting so much makeup and I have so much stuff that I just need to get through. Like I never be able to use it all up in my lifetime, uh, but it was just so much fun to get. Um, next item we have is a Guns N' Roses shirt that sold for $19.99. This one wasn't like true vintage, um, but it still was a little bit older. Um, got that at a yard sale. At one point, Eric and I went to a yard sale and we found like a bunch of like older, and when I say older, I'm talking like early 2000s um, type of clothing at a yard sale and we just like piled everything into a box and then I think the lady just charged us like a flat $30 for everything and we made really good money off of the clothing pieces that we got that day. The next item I sold was a pair of Ariat steel toed western boots. These sold for $79.99. I'm pretty sure Eric found these as well at a yard sale and I'd say we paid about $10 for them. I also sold a Josie Marin color stick. This was just a makeup piece that sold for $17.99 and that came from a beauty tray that I won at the auction. You guys know I love beauty related items and I love selling them as well. So that's just like a common theme with my cha-ching. Next item we 
we have was a Ralph Lauren Polo beach towel. So this one was an older beach towel that sold for $69.99. I found that at a yard sale and I'm pretty sure I paid about $3 max for it. I also sold a Jolly Rancher <laughs> watermelon plush. I found this at a yard sale. Um, I think I paid a quarter for it and that sold for $19.99. I like selling plush. I don't always pick it up, um, but you know, it's, it's fairly easy uh, to list and you know, some plushies can sell really well. Just, you know, obviously depending on the plush. So I do pick it up occasionally. Um, next item we have is a Chalkware Santa Planter that sold for $19.99. I'd say that came from a yard sale, but I honestly don't really remember. Um, I do, since this is like the first Christmas thing that um, I'm popping up here on this chiching, um, Christmas stuff is selling right now. Like, let me, let me just go to my sold really quick um recently um I sold one two three four five six uh seven eight nine um ten eleven like <laughs> within like my past couple of sales from the past few days like eleven things were Christmas related so definitely get your Christmas stuff up if it's not already listed. Um, next item we have was a glass fairy lamp. This was by a company called Fifth Avenue Crystal. That's over $29.99 and I'm pretty sure that came from a yard sale. I'd say maybe we paid four or five dollars for it. I sold a large 13 inch Leonardo Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle toy. That sold also for $29.99 that came from a yard sale and I think I paid maybe two or three dollars for it. I just got a cha-ching. We'll look at that um, at the end of the video. <laughs> um, next item did go to a subscriber named Sandra. This was for a Lancome mascara that sold for $17.99. And I'm pretty sure that also came from a beauty tray that I won at the auction. I sold, this was really cute. This was a Pelican trinket box, but it had like a stained glass kind of look to it. Um, that sold for $12.99. And that came on a flat of some other random stuff that I won at an auction. Next item was an Avon body lotion in the scent shine that's over eight dollars and 99 cents that came from an auction i'd say i have a dollar into that next item went to a subscriber named jackie this was for a bath and body works sparkling mountain spring lotion that's over 49 dollars and 99 cents again auction beauty tray um at one point i had won a bunch of bath and body works cucumber melon lotions that were in these glass bottles and they all sold this was the only one on the tray that wasn't cucumber melon but every single one of those has sold now i sold a bath and body works perfume in the fragrance into the night that sold for 39 dollars 99 that came from a yard sale i'd say two or three dollars i paid for that next item was a rimmel eyeliner in the shade jungle green that sold for nine dollars and 99 cents again beauty tray from an auction i sold a vintage plastic santa claus wind chime for 17 dollars and 99 cents that came from an auction as well um that was just in a tote full of just some random christmas items that eric won at an auction i think he got the whole tote for maybe like five dollars no one was really interested in it for whatever reason um and i do have some of the stuff that was from that tote listed still um, next three items went to Sandra. Again, these were all Meaningful Beauty Cindy Crawford skincare products. Uh, the first one was a Youth Activating Serum that sold for $49.99. Um, there was also a Lifting Eye Cream that sold for $15.99. 
as well as a day cream for $19.99. So again, this Cindy Crawford Meaningful Beauty items, they either came from um, an auction or from that yard sale where I found a box full. Um, next we have an American Chestnut Folk Art piece. Um, the brand is called American Chestnut Folk Art. Um, and these were for a little figure of crows. These were so cute. Um, they sold for $39.99 and we picked those up at a yard sale. I think we paid $5 for them. I sold a Five Nights at Freddy's Marionette Puppet Plush for $39.99. Came from an auction on one of those trays of Five Nights at Freddy's plushies that we won. I also sold a Rory racing car this was a die cast toy um it was for a lot of three of them those sold for 39 dollars and 99 cents we won those at an auction i'd say we pay maybe two or three dollars a piece for those sold a doll book oh gosh i'm not exactly sure how to pronounce this show and hut dolls book i got this at an auction it was during like a, a big doll auction um i don't know i think i paid like maybe five dollars or less for this book and it sold for 71 dollars and 99 cents so definitely if you ever come across some doll books um take a look at them some people are definitely interested in them especially if they are collecting um certain dolls from you know whatever brands I sold a pair of Vans Kyle Walker shoes for $39.99. These came from a yard sale. I'm pretty sure it was like a fill a bag church sale. And I think it was $5 to fill the bag or $10 to fill the bag. And you know, I've already sold stuff from that sale. I sold, this was a skincare item by a company called Genie. And it was called an Instant Line Smoother. That sold for $14.80 and it came from a beauty tray from the auction. Same with this next item. This was another Josie Marin item. It was a Winter Gardenia Body Butter Lotion that sold for $14.99. Next item also came from an auction. This was a Winnie the Pooh teapot. It was called Blustery Day. Super cute. Um, that sold for $69.99, and I know Eric didn't pay much for that at all. I remember when the day that we won those, we were kind of surprised because there was, like, so much Winnie the Pooh stuff um, at the auction. Like, every single week there was Winnie the Pooh stuff, and at first, when we were winning stuff, like, the first time it was there, you know, the prices were a little high, and then I think everyone, like, got the craps of Winnie the Pooh. They got the poos of Winnie the Pooh. So, you know, as the weeks progressed and there was more poo stuff that came through, people weren't as interested type of thing. So we didn't pay much for that. So that was awesome. Um, I sold this next item to go to Sandra um, as well. This was for a pack of tarot cards. These were called Flower Therapy. Those sold for $53.99. I actually found these at Goodwill one of the last times I had gone there. And I think I paid $2.99 or $3.99 for them. I can't remember off the top of my head anymore. But tarot cards can sell, especially if they are out of print. And some of these ones that aren't your typical tarot cards... Um, you know, when you think of tarot cards, you think of like just like an original kind of type of deck, but they make all sorts of different kinds of tarot cards. This item was a Bose Wave music system. This sold for $64.99. Found this at a yard sale. I'm pretty sure I paid $5 for it because the CD player in it wasn't working. So I told Eric, I was like, well, for $5, we can take it, we can try and see if we can fix it, or like, you know, have Eric tinker around with it and see if he can fix it. But if not, the radio still worked. So um, we, we took it for $5 and it sold, even though the CD player, Eric couldn't get the CD player to work, but maybe someone else did. But regardless, the radio worked and Bose 
items, you know, are really, really pricey. Next, we have a purse by Sack Roots that sold for $39.00. And 99 cents and that probably came from a yard sale I sold a shirt Eric actually found this it was by a brand called Disturbia found it at a fill a bag rummage sale it sold for $29 and 99 cents I think this brand is based out of the UK um sold a lot of kids books these were called the help me be good kids books um so they were all just, each book was based on something different um, for kids to learn. That sold for $59.99. Um, I actually sold this set of books two times now. Um, next we have a coffee mug. This was a butterfly mug by a company called Mara Art Studio. Um, that sold for $22.99. I did get that at the flea market. And I think I paid $4 for it. I also sold another mug. This was by a company called Gray Fox Pottery. And it was for um, commemorating a Renaissance fair. That sold for $18.99. That also came from a fill -a bag rummage sale. Um, there are people out there who collect Gray Fox Pottery pieces. I actually just sold one the other day that had um some sort of brewery on it um commemorating some sort of brewery i do know the person who purchased this though um collected specifically these mugs for um renaissance fairs uh next item next two items also went to sandra so the first thing was a dooney and burke purse that's over 71 dollars and 99 cents I'm pretty sure that came from a yard sale. And she also purchased a Japanese Kokeshi wooden doll. That was over $23.39. And I think that also came from like an outdoor type of churchyard sale where it was just like different vendors set up. Oh wait, there's one other thing that Sandra purchased that was on my next page. She also purchased a Kate Spade crossbody purse that sold for $44.99. That also um, came from a yard sale. Next item we have is a Snoopy candy jar. Um, this sold for $12.99 and that came from a fill -a bag rummage sale. I sold a hair serum by a company called Scrupples, Scrupples, that's over $16.99 and I got that at a yard sale. I'd say I paid two, $1 to $2 for it. Um, next item we have went to a subscriber named Anita. This was for a Lefton Christmas Cardinal Trinket Box that sold for $8.99. I can't remember if this came from a yard sale or if it was on a tray of stuff that I won at an auction. Next, we have a pottery mug by someone named Bill Campbell. His stuff can sell really well. This mug sold for $59.99. Uh, we got it at a yard sale, and I'd say we paid $3 for it. Um, I remember at the sale, there was like a lot of different pottery pieces, and I don't know about you guys, but Eric and I have a hard time sometimes figuring out signatures and stuff like that on pottery pieces. Um, but this was pretty easy to make out and it was just a really, really, really nice piece. So I'm glad we picked that up. Um, next we have a soapstone figure. Um, it was a dog sledding um, figure made of soapstone. We won this at an auction i'd say for ten dollars or less and it sold for 92 dollars so that was a great sale i don't know if we were expecting that much from it or not <laughs> i feel like we weren't expecting that much from it <laughs> next item also came from an auction this was for a book binding tool called the cinch so this made like bindings for books that sold for $79.99. We won it at an auction, I'd say, for $12 or so. Sold a 1998 Bop It Extreme game 
for $24.99. I picked this up at a yard sale and I'd say I paid about a dollar for it. Also sold a, this was for a lot of two Avon aftershave conditioners um, in the fragrance Blue Rush. Those sold for $15.99. Those came from an auction. So about a dollar a piece for those. And the last thing that I have for this cha-ching was a Juve Tress Hair Therapy. That's over $59.99. Came from a beauty tray from the auction so that is everything for this cha -ching. i feel like i say every time i do a cha -ching, i'm trying to get caught up on my cha -chings because these are older cha -chings. they're not like super duper recent um but still you know maybe from like a month or so ago uh, i'm still trying to get caught up with cha -chings. and it's just a never-ending process i feel like i'm just you know, as I am selling on eBay and the more stuff I get listed, the more stuff is selling. So it's, it's not a bad problem to have. I am not complaining about it. Um, but it is getting a little difficult for me to, you know, keep up with my cha-chings. I just, I honestly really just need to record more cha-ching videos, like put them out more than what, you know, I am. But it's just all about finding the time to sit down, film a video, and edit a video, and that type of thing. Because it's very time consuming, especially when you're trying to get things listed. Because in all actuality, eBay is my full-time job. Um, so, you know, I have to focus most of my time and energy into ebay because that is where most of my money is coming from so um ideally at some point i would love to be able to post a video here on youtube every single day as of now i pretty much just post every other day which kind of like gives me time every other day to really focus on listing things or focus on something else other than my youtube channel to get that you know straightened out and whatever even if it's just housework you know what i mean so you know but ideally i would like to post every day i don't know if i'll ever get to that point maybe if i had some more help i thought you know hiring eric would give me more um time to do that but you know it is giving me more time but I still need more time to be able to um, film and edit my videos so anyway as far as eBay goes um, let's see we are in November today was actually election day so I'm curious to see how that all pans out no political commentary in the comments though we were I don't want any kind of like drama in my comments, anything political. Um, but as far as eBay sales go, I think for me personally, they're doing pretty good. And like I said, a lot of my sales have been recently Christmas related. So if you don't have anything Christmas listed, definitely think about pulling it out of your death pile or sourcing for Christmas specific things because people are shopping for Christmas right now. Speaking of, there was a cha-ching earlier, so let's see what that was for. Oh, that was an auction that ended for my chalkware turtles that Sandra also purchased. Sandra, if you're watching this, I think you have a bid on something else that doesn't end until tomorrow or something. So I'll wait until that ends so we can combine your order and I'll refund your um, shipping costs. Hold up, something else is going on. Let's see. Ooh, oh wow, this was a great sale. This was a great sale. Um, I sold a... I just sold a Philosophy body lotion. This is in the fragrance Baby Grace, which is a discontinued Philosophy scent. And this was for a really large 32 fluid ounce um, bottle. That's over $89.99 and I paid $3 for it at the auction. So <laughs> that was a great sale. Um, anyway, yes, sales are doing really well. Um, 
going into you know towards the end of this year um you know my sales are up um and <laughs> hold on <laughs> this is fantastic this is absolutely fantastic oh i sold this was a halloween item so that's really cool this set of um vintage honeycomb um tissue um witches those sold for $39.99 those were on auction so I haven't gotten paid yet so hopefully crossing your fingers that they get paid for um but yeah as stated sales are going really well um so hopefully that continues through the end of this year and you know each year that I am doing reselling full-time obviously every single year I want to top the year prior as far as sales go so um i am on track to doing like topping last year so that's fantastic those are kind of the goals that you know obviously i'm aiming for so you know it's just it's really exciting and you know it's it makes you feel proud of yourself um being successful i mean it's a proud feeling to feel like you're succeeding um, you know, I worked full-time jobs, you know, ever since I was young, you know, and I always had the dream of being able to work for myself. Like I started reselling back when, you know, I lived with my parents. It was ages ago. And, you know, I never thought that like I'd ever do it full-time. It was just like, a hobby and that type of thing something I did for fun um and then like throughout all the jobs that I had you know one of my very last jobs that I had um you know we'd always have meetings and stuff like that and it was a smaller company but it was growing by leaps and bounds and the CEO was always there at our meetings talking to us and you know, and I could just see it in him that he was so proud of what he started from, like started from the bottom and he's growing his business like crazy. And you could see how proud he was and how far he came as far as, you know, growing his business. And I admired him for that so much. Like, and it just, it would give me chills sometimes, like listening to him in our meetings. And I would always have that in the back of my mind, like, holy crap, like, I want to be in this man's shoes. Like, I want to be my own boss. I want to feel that feeling of just success like creating your own type of success type of feeling I didn't think I'd ever feel that way I didn't think I'd ever get that way and you know once I had the opportunity to at least try um you know my job told me like if if I didn't succeed because they knew what I was going to do they said like if I had to ever come back my job would be available like they would hire me back um and I didn't have to go back and I still don't have to go back um, because, you know, I am succeeding in what I put out to do. So I am super excited and super thankful and grateful for that because it just, it there's like no other feeling in the world. And some days, a lot of days actually, um, you know, I'll get down on myself. I'll feel like you know, like I'm not doing very well or something like that or something will go wrong or, you know, things of that nature, like where you just get that like dark cloud over your head and you can't shake it off. Like you just kind of feel like, what am I doing? Like what what's what's going on type of thing. So it's not all peaches and cream and things like that. It's a lot of hard work and but it's just it's so much fun fun like it's just it's it's crazy um you know I just I never never expected to get to where I am and I just want to keep continuing to just get better and better and better and better and 
and learn as much as I can and that type of thing. Um, so yeah, I'm thankful for you guys too for being here with me and you know, you are part of that success. Um, you know, I do get sales sometimes from subscribers and that means so much to me. Um, obviously you never, ever, ever, ever have to purchase anything from me ever. Um, but you know, it is awesome, you know, when I do get sales from subscribers and, um, you know, so you're definitely a part of, you know, the success that I'm having. So I just want to thank each and every one of you for that. Like whether or not you purchased or not, even watching my videos like helps me to be successful here on YouTube. Um, so that can be helpful as well, especially like getting, you know, your name out there and, you know, getting, gaining more subscribers and getting more views on your videos. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. You'll have to let me know um, how things are going for you. Um, definitely just keep on trucking through. Um, list, 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 list. Um, get as much as you can listed. And like I said, Christmas stuff is selling, so get your Christmas stuff listed. Uh, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this one and I will see you next time.